and privilege to endorse Mitt Romney. I've gotten... The last election should have been won, except Romney choked like a dog. He choked. He went, I can't breathe. Here's what I know. Donald Trump is a phony, a fraud. His promises are as worthless as a degree from Trump University. Like old times. Uh, I've had a, uh, a wonderful evening with uh, President-elect Trump. Wow. And to complete the full circle, Donald Trump has now endorsed Mitt Romney for the United States Senate. Let's see. What As Nell Chamberlain would say, yeah. peace in our time. Oh, peace I don't know about that. Time. We'll see what happens when Romney Well, you see what happened after president. Chamberlain said peace in our time. That's right. <laughs> there shall be no peace. Yeah. Good morning, yeah. everyone. It's Tuesday, February 20th. With us here in Washington, we have politics editor for The Daily Beast, Sam Stein. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. It's great to see you guys. NBC News National Political reporter Heidi Prisbilla, Pulitzer Prize winning columnist and associate editor of the Washington Post, Eugene Robinson, and New York Times reporter Michael Schmidt. So, uh, Sam, uh, just on the bump in clip, you and I have a different view of that. Your view is? <laughs> For people who are expecting Mitt Romney to be this um, anti-Trump persona in Washington, D.C., right. um, you know, it was always a bit far-fetched, I would, I would argue, and I think what happened last night sort of proved that, which is a man who two years ago said he would not have taken Trump's endorsement if he had known all the things that Trump had said about the KKK, about right. Muslims, uh, took Trump's endorsement last night. Now, I know it was from a position of strength. I know he needed to do it to get to a place where he could go through the Utah primary, um, but there was a defining principle of this new modern Mitt Romney, which was he was going to be a, uh, a force against, an intellectual force against Donald Trump. And right. the first step out of the gate uh, was to take Trump's in. Well, I, I, two things. First of all, a couple of days ago, before anybody else was saying it in the Republican Party, now Donald Trump is saying it. Uh, it actually was courageous for Mitt Romney to go out and say, we can't just sit by and keep saying that there's nothing we can do about these shootings. I and, and talked about supporting background checks. He was the first one to sort of put his toe into that water, which, trust me, as a conservative, hot water. I know that's hot water. Like, even if you do something that 90% of Americans support, the NRA is like the NRA, for instance, they do not care that I'm like 95% uh, pro gun. If you are, if right. you do what Mitt Romney did, they care they, about the five. They go to war. They care about the five percent. In fact, yeah. that's how they raise all their money. The by, by, by the five, extreme five percent. But I just want to say, if you can call the president of the United States a phony, mm -hmm. and you can call him a fraud, uh -huh. and you can bring up the lawsuit that bothers him yeah. more than any other lawsuit in the world. And he still endorses he still you. Endorses you, yeah. You that, have power. you know what you yeah. do that? Uh -huh. you, 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 you know what you call that, Gene? In yeah. baseball, a, a, you put that. You call that a w. w. That's yeah. in the W column. Mitt Romney wins. I think no. I think the White House is is uh, really concerned about what Mitt Romney is going to be in the Senate, and um, uh, you know, a, another voice, potentially a strong voice, uh, at times against President Trump, and at crucial times. And I think that's um, uh, so. Let's see what happens, but I'm kind of looking forward to it. But. Well, and, yeah. and Heidi also, I've got to say, it was a smart move for a White House that's not always smart. They didn't, like, drive the plane into the ground this time. <laughs> they said, okay, we don't want him there. We can't get Hatch to stay. We keep pay. He's not going to do it. Let's make peace. That's actually what you do in politics. Yeah, and they made peace in this 24-hour time span. We'll see what happens. And if you want to actually just take Sam's argument out of it, just remove the man, Why would you do that? Mitt Romney, just a great argument. I feel like we all just <laughs> <laughs> and just reduce this to crass politics, look at the state that he'll be representing. Look at the state that during the primaries where you saw some of the most ferocious ads, anti-Trump ads, right. and it actually redounded to the benefit of the candidates out there. Utah is a state that remains deeply skeptical of this president. Right. And so I'm, I'm with you, I think, on this one, Joe. I think we haven't seen the end of Mitt Romney busting out and maybe taking positions yeah. uh, that differ with the president and even being critical Absolutely. of the president because he can. But in mm -hmm. this case, Mitt Romney in one of the most conservative states, but as Heidi says, in one of the most skeptical states yeah. uh, regarding Donald Trump, comes out 
ahead of everybody else and says, I support, uh, we should look into uh, the possibility of expanding background checks. Right. Two days later, the rest of Washington follows. I think this might be a very interesting relationship. And Donald Trump does know as he goes into November, he's got to get out of this box. He's got, he's got to follow up on what now appears to be the successes of the tax cuts, mm -hmm. which now more Americans like than do not like. Yeah. And, uh, and again, try to save some of these Republican seats. You know, what would be really interesting would be if Mitt Romney became a moral voice um, on issues that, um, in, in a way that 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 is, you know, is consistent with Utah, with the Mormon faith, with the with um, uh, this, this respect for moral values, uh, as opposed to a president who is Donald Trump. That would be interesting. Well, our, our meek evangelical leaders who basically have mm -hmm. acted so cravenly exactly, that yeah. they've given up their faith for access to power. I, uh, we've known the Romneys for a long time. They know the rigors and the challenges of, of running for the office of the presidency. And the fact that he wants to serve in yeah. Utah in the Senate is admirable and even courageous at these times. And if that tweet was his only way of accepting the president's endorsement, I mean, did he do anything else? That's just being polite. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 I'm excited so that we he all is. Agree with me. So, <laughs> I'm excited that he's jumping in. I think it yeah. could be really good for the country. We need good well, people like Mitt Romney. And there are a lot of there are a lot of really good conservatives out there that have been holding their fire. They haven't been as negative towards Donald Trump as say me and uh, people like myself, Mike Schmidt, uh, uh, Steve, Schmidt. Steve Schmidt. I mean, and several others. Um, and Mitt Romney is actually a great, a, 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 a great focus for them, mm -hmm. a great hope for them that somebody will come in and be a traditional conservative. Right. Richard Brookheiser wrote a great uh, National Review column saying conservatism is dead. CPAC won't invite Mitt Romney, but is inviting members now of the National Front. Uh, this is conservatism in Washington, just in Washington, D.C. Yeah. Conservatism in Washington, D.C. is dead. Richard Brookheiser is right. You need to read that uh, if you get a chance, if you're a conservative in the National Review. Mitt Romney, though, is an opening, and he is an opportunity to return, as he said in his, his, his speech, to the conservatism that was the conservatism when I was here, which is a conservatism of balanced budgets, of, of less debt, of, of opening your arms to legal immigrants across the world, of embracing free trade, basically of looking forward and saying we're the United States of America, we are strong, we don't have to, to crouch, be in a crouched position, we can fling open our arms.